Flex family. Welcome, welcome. I'm Amy and today we are doing a live full body burn with weights workout. So what's fun about today is I'm going to be using both the Select Tech adjustable dumbbells, the 552s, and the Select Tech 840 adjustable kettlebell. So we'll be going back and forth. If you only have a set of dumbbells or you only have a kettlebell, totally fine. You're going to be able to use whatever you have available to you. Hey, Dixie is here. If you are here, say hello. I love seeing who is joining. It's Monday. We are getting it done. We are starting out the week with a workout. Guys, in case you haven't noticed, we have some exciting things happening over at Bowflex. You probably noticed we have a new logo. So we have a new energized look. We have a new philosophy, a lot of the things that we've been talking about, but we're actually getting it out there to you. It is all about moving to feel good, moving to be strong. I know you guys already know these things. Hey, Sharon is here, hello, hello. But brand new look, new philosophy, all about showing up and moving with us and same great products, right? Products are not changing. We have all the things that you love, your adjustable weights, your cardio equipment, your treadmills, your max trainers, bikes, all of it. But new look, new philosophy, exciting things happening here at Bowflex. Lori is here, happy Monday, yes, let's go. Lisa is ready, let's do it. All right, so today we're getting a full body workout with our dumbbells and our kettlebells. Everything will have two rounds where we do one of each, one with the dumbbells, one with the kettlebell. Again, if you only have dumbbells, just do two sets with that. If you only have a kettlebell, just use that. If you wanna alternate, you can alternate with me. Go ahead and grab a sip of water. It's hot out there for most of us. And we are going to jump right in. Natalie just finished another workout. Yes, look at you. Yeah, you can go a little lighter for this one, but see how you feel. We're gonna keep it short with only 30 minutes. All right, team, so make sure you have some space, your water, your weights, and let's go ahead and start moving our bodies. We'll just get a quick little warm up just some movement prep, getting that core temperature up. It's Monday, maybe you had a fun weekend, maybe you had a restful weekend, whatever it was. Maybe it was super busy, but we are working it all out today here in this workout. All right, we got those timers going, rolling through right here, and we'll be working in intervals today. You don't have to worry about the time. I will, but we like to put it up there so you know what is going on. Open up the shoulders right through here. You can shift into those hips just a bit. If you wanna step out into it. Again, this warm up is all about getting the temperature up, getting our muscles warm, and getting that movement prep for this workout. Right through here, just shift, reach one behind, one up. Right here, shift your weight side to side. And then right through here, let's just take it flat back down and round it up. Ooh, I'm feeling tight there. Working it out. Here, round it up one more. Can you hold those hands either down on the ground or on your legs, whatever feels best for you. And let's just get a little pedal of those hamstrings, right? So you're, stre you're lengthening and flexing. So bending one, straightening one. And while you're here, also let your head and shoulders and neck relax. And then from here, if you can, we're gonna walk it back to that high plank. If that is not right for you, you can walk it back to the knees. And let's just alternate that world's greatest stretch. So watch me, we're gonna step one foot up. We're gonna do a big reach up, back down, back down. One foot up, reach, and back right here. And reach, yes. So keep going with that again. If you wanna keep that knee down, you can. Here, you may even get a little more of a hip, hip flexor stretch that way. <sighs> Last one, let's stretch back into that child's pose. Shift your weight side to side with the shoulders. Let's reach one arm under, under. sit back in child's pose, and then switch your sides. 
other arm. <sighs> Little mobility for your shoulders. One more each way, reach under. Whoo, almost ready. And bring it up, reach under. Good. Go ahead and come back up to that high plank. If you can, really quick, let's open up through the back, through the chest, through the shoulders. You can also do this on the knee and then back to center. Open up, so either knee down or in that high plank, but I want you to open up the chest and shoulders. Here, reach. And one more, reach. Whatever you need to do to walk back up, walk those hands up. Slowly roll it up. All right, team. So reach out over here. All right, so we're gonna get it done today. Working in circuits, full body burn. We're gonna do our favorite format of lower, upper, and core. And we'll do it one time through. 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds of rest using your dumbbells. And then we will have the kettlebell version of that same move. It's a pretty fun format because you can really feel the difference in using the kettlebell versus using the dumbbells. So we'll keep it pretty basic, but we're gonna have a good time doing it. And of course, I'm gonna give you options. So work to your level. Remember, this is your workout. I wanna make it work for you. All right, team, so with those dumbbells, let's go something either heavy or medium, whatever you got. I'm gonna try to start with these 15s. And we are going to start whoo, with a side lunge. So if you can, I want you to step out into it and sit deep. If you would rather keep it stationary, you can be right through here. Either way, let's get it done, 40 seconds. Here we go. So a side lunge, shift your weight right through here. So with the dumbbells, I like to take them on either side of each leg, right? Right here. You can always take it to one dumbbell or even no dumbbells, but remember you're shifting your weight to the back and you're shifting your weight into that hip. So it's not this, it's this. You really drop it down, push out of it. You'll feel the difference between going here and then actually letting your weight shift into the hip and pushing out of it. We got three, two, one, shake it out. All right, we're gonna hang out with those same weights. We're gonna take it to a bent over row. So you can keep it here. You can stagger. You can have one arm on the wall or knee on the bench if you need to and split the time. We got 40 seconds. Roll those shoulders back, core engaged in three, two, one. Bring those elbows up, drop them down. So I'm parallel right here, but again, a staggered feels better if you have a little more space. That works too. I want you to think about staying in that hinge position, not letting the low back round really pull the shoulders back, eyes out in front. And as we pull the weights towards the hips, towards the rib cage, we're pulling the elbows up and we're squeezing in the shoulder blades. Almost as if we're pulling our elbows in, trying to make them touch, right? Whoo! Yes! We got five, four, three, two, one. Yes, team. Down onto your back. We are getting it done with or without a weight. And this is totally optional. We're gonna take it to a pullover into a little crunch. If that feels like too much, you just take the crunch all body weight. Let's do it. So pull over. We've got a little slight bend in the arms. I like to call, call these Barbie arms. Timely, with the movie out right now, right? You can do a little touch down with the toes, a little lift to the shoulders, but all of the movement originates right in the core. Slow and controlled. Everything pulled in. If that is not right for you, you can just do the upper body or just do the lower body or you can take it to a bridge. And tap. Three, two, one. Whoo, up onto your feet. Now we're doing the exact same thing, 
but using our kettlebell. So grab that kettlebell, sip of water if you need it. Again, something kind of medium, heavy to medium. And we're gonna start, what we're gonna do on that side lunge if we can is we're gonna alternate handing off the weight. It's kind of fun because we get to actually shift our weight and feel how that kettlebell shifts with us, right? Then we'll alternate, obviously, since we only have one, on our row as well. Let's start with that side lunge in three, two, one, to the side. As you step in, hand it off. Hand it off. Bringing that kettlebell towards that foot, right through here. Hand it off. If you wanna keep it stationary, hand off at the top. Either way, shift the weight to the hip, push out of that hip, and up right here. Feel the difference. One of the things we love about working with a kettlebell is the weight distribution is different, right? With the bell, with the handle, or we call them the horn sometimes, last one, and relax. So you should feel especially that shift side to side, that core is working hard. All right, team, now we're gonna put that kettlebell right in the center, and we're gonna take it to a bent over row. So you're alternating weight in the center. Again, if it feels like too much, you can support with the hand. Three, two, one. Pull it up and in. So what I like to do is take this opposite arm out to help me keep a nice flat back. Right through here. Bring it up. Yes. Core engaged. Notice I'm also turning palm to the back and then turning in. You don't have to do that, but you can. Flat back. We got five seconds right here. And you get one more each side. Three, two, one. Down to our pullover. It may be a little trickier with that kettlebell. So again, you can go body weight if that is a better option for you. Or you can just do the crunch holding it up top. If you don't feel comfortable going over your head, just take it body weight. Let's do it. So a little pullover. Oh, that's different. And bring it up. Every now and then there's one that really surprises me at the difference in how it feels. This is one of those. We expect it with certain things, but ooh, feel the pull in your arms, but also at the top of the core, especially as everything comes in, right? Even if you're just lifting at the top, we're connecting right down through the midline. What I call closing the core, wrapping everything in. Right through here. Yes. Three, two, one and relax. All right, team, go ahead and bring it up. We are gonna get a couple swings in this workout, and guess what, the first one we're gonna get with dumbbells. So, maybe you've done a swing before, maybe you haven't, but we're gonna start with our deadlift. Ooh, let's see, I'm gonna go somewhere in between, let's go 12s right here. So we're starting with our deadlift to get a feel for it. So those shoulders are back, core, engage and we're going to do a deadlift here so we're going to be doing our swings in between our sets so we're right here shoulders back we're going to do a hinge and we're going to bring it up if you got the kettlebell right in the center we're starting with this for 30 seconds in three two one right through here drive the hips to the back remember that's the point of the hinge it is not a fold forward it's driving the hips to the back Right through here. Shoulders packed as in they're pulled back, right? Let's get two more. All through the back of the body, last one. And relax. All right, team, so swinging with dumbbells, and we are all gonna do it dumbbells. Maybe you prefer a kettlebell, I do too, but just to get a feel for it, we think of it like a skier swing, down and up. So it's a hinge, then you power it up, lock out with the core, then let it drop. You gotta clear those dumbbells. So if that doesn't feel good for you, you can have one dumbbell in the center 
or one kettlebell, but if you can, we'll take it to the side. Drone dogs, hi! Gonna be hitting this one in a bit, usually here, right when we start, but you can do it at any time. That's the beauty of these live workouts, is they stay up on the channel. All right, so give it a go. If it doesn't work for you, keep that deadlift if that's a better option for you. Otherwise, hinge it, we're gonna prep it back. Ski your swing in three, two, one. Power up, let it drop. Locking out of the top. So what you're not doing is hyperextending. You're not getting an arch at the back. You're locking out with the glutes, the hamstrings, all the way through. Arms are along for the ride, but they're not lifting. So you really gotta use the back of the body to bring everything up, right? Five, four, three, two, swing and relax. Go ahead and pedal your feet right here. Let's grab a sip of water, team. Let's go into that second circuit. Good work, I know. Woo. Feeling that. All right, team, so. Speaking of that deadlift, we are gonna do it again with these dumbbells and then the kettlebell, but we're gonna do a kickstand version. So we got 20 seconds here and then we're gonna switch 20 seconds here. Then we're gonna get some biceps and shoulders. And then we're gonna take it down for a plank. Let's go ahead and take it right through here. Shoulders back, so kickstand is exactly like it sounds. If you prefer two feet here, that works as well. But we got 20 seconds, we're gonna split our time, pushing into that front heel, driving up. Here we go, here, and bring it up. So what I like to do with these is make my dumbbells in a little bit of a triangle in front, but you can have them just right here. Or if you're feeling your back, put them down by the side. It's still a hinge, I know we just worked those muscles with that swing. Last one. Drive it up, switch your legs right here. Take it down and up, core engaged, push into that front heel. You can usually go heavier on these. Drive it up. Pushing up and in through that heel. Not a lunge, not a squat, but a hinge. And relax, give your hands a little break. Dixie loves a good kickstand, right? Don't worry, that one leg is coming. All right, we got a curl and a press. So we just got those dumbbells, curl them in. We're gonna rotate them out. So it's that Arnold press, so we get our shoulders as well. Let's see if I can hang with these dumbbells. We're gonna try. Here we go. So curl, press it out, wrap it in, and take it down. So you're turning your palms in, then rotate them out, in and down. What's happening with that, that we won't get with the kettlebell, is that we're getting that internal and external rotation and movement through our shoulders and our chest. So up, wrap it in, take it down. Up, keep it going, almost there. Let's sneak in one more, why not? And relax. All right, team, come down into a plank position with one dumbbell in the center. So we're gonna do a little pull through. So it looks like this. You can be on the knees if you need to, but we're pulling that dumbbell through. Core engage, zip it up, high plank. Here we go. Pull it through. Pull it through. So little shift in your weight. What I don't want is for you to shift those hips back. I want you to stay up, shoulders right above the elbows, right above the wrist. It's a little tricky when you're pulling that weight through, I know, right here. But tucking the pelvis, core's in nice and tight, legs and glutes nice and tight. 10 seconds. We got five, four, Three, two, one, yes, team. All right, can we do it all again, but switching to our kettlebell. All right, so instead of our kickstand, as promised, just for you, Dixie, we are gonna get it done whoo, with a one-legged. If you wanna keep the kickstand, you can, 
Otherwise, one leg. And you know what? Let's go 30 seconds each side. Why not? So, foot back, single leg or kickstand in three, two, one. Do you feel the difference with that kettlebell? You may want to go on the opposite side, the leg that's going up, or you may want to have both hands. But feel the difference. The weight is compact, right? So, to work a little harder to keep it balanced, still pushing through that heel. Also a little different with that single leg. Again, kickstand is always an option. Five, four, three, two, switch your sides right here. Take it down, bring it up. Trying to keep your hips and shoulders square. It's hard to do, I know. But what we don't wanna do is just let the weight bring us forward, right? We want to control it here to here. Oh, back of that leg, right? That's what we want. Right here. We got five, four, three, two, one. Boom, little stretch in the back of the legs. I know. All right, so we're going to take it to a curl and a press. Obviously, with the kettlebell, it's a little different if you're just using your dumbbells. You can keep it here, hammer curl. If you want, you can take it right here, hands on the top of the horns. But sometimes with the kettlebell, it works better to flip it. That's what I'm gonna do. Taking it here to here. Who challenging, let's do it. In three, two, curl and press. Up, up. And again, depending on your kettlebell, if you have the select tech, I find it easier to flip then some other kettlebells, if that doesn't feel comfortable for you, again, holding it here. Straight up. Feel how the weight being different gets that core engaged, gets everything working hard. And we're here. Bring it up. Oh. Yes. Five. Four. Three. Two one and relax set it down i'm doing basically the same weight two tens 120 and it feels so much more challenging holding it in the center that's what we love about kettlebell all right team so into that plank again you're going to do that pull through with the kettlebell a little different a little higher probably but we're going to get it done zip up that core pulling it through again if you need to stay on your knees or knees here totally fine if you can let's pop it up here we go. Pull it through. Ah, harder, right? Sometimes, depending on your floor, some people like to do a little more of a drag. I like to actually lift it up and have to stabilize it. Starts to feel like too much. You can always drop to those knees or take a little breather, come right back up into it halfway there. Yes, strong core, zip it up. Keep everything nice and tight, supporting right through the center. We got five, four, three, two, one. Stretch it back. <laughs> All right, team, you know what's coming is a swing. This time, we're not going to do the deadlift first unless you want to make that your option. Otherwise, kettlebell swing right in the center. Maybe a little more intuitive, at least for me, than that skier swing, but driving it up, let it drop. If you're just doing the deadlift, just up, hinge it back. Let's get it done for 30 seconds. Wrap that core in three, two, one. Power it up, let it drop. Arms are not lifting, drop, power. Using your breath, to drive it up all the way through and then lock it out. So you power up, lock it out, let it drop. We got five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Ah, stretch your back, grab a quick sip of water, team. Here we go, we're gonna get it done. We got one last round, we'll get it done quickly we're gonna take it to a goblet squat 
Using our dumbbells, we're gonna rack them if you want first, and then we'll use our kettlebell. Then we're down on our back and we're almost done. So let's take it here, team. I'm gonna rack these weights here. I love about the Select Tech because they're a little bigger, they rest a little. Otherwise, you can have them down by your side, up to you. Here we go. We got 40 seconds, drive up through here. Take it down and up, sit low. Now remember, it's just a regular squat, but you can have a little turnout on your knees. Maybe that helps you get a little lower. I know for me it does. Form is important. I give you these cues, but it's also finding what works for your body, for your bone structure, for your mobility and flexibility, and for your strength level. Drive up and through, weight in the heels. Five, four, three, two, one, boom down on your back. All right, we got our regular chest press. Go ahead and bring it down. If you want or you need to, you can have those feet up in a bridge. Otherwise, we're gonna press up and in, down and out, core engaged in three, two, one. Up and in, down and out. Remember, slight bend in the elbows. <sighs> Not coming straight by the shoulders, because that'll get up in your neck at about 45 degrees. Again, if you want that bridge, you can. Breathe up, right to here, but you don't have to. Yes, team. All the way through, 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one set, those weights down, stay right where you are. No weights on this one. How about we get a little scissors? I want you to really stretch to get the stretch and flex the foot. If you wanna keep one foot down or shoulders down, that works too. Let's get that stretch, but also that core in three, two, one, here, here. Flex the foot. And then really think about pulling the inner thighs together. Here, so you can do it either way, either both legs up or both legs down. You're gonna feel the difference. Here, boom. Open it up and drop it down 10 seconds. Yes. Last one, oh, up onto your feet, team. Can we do it all again? I know we're racing against the clock here, but full body burn. Goblet squat, using your kettlebell in the center. Oh, I still got it on heavy, but let's do it. You can also flip it here if you want. Three, two, one, sit low. If you wanna turn those toes out a little more of a sumo, that works too. Weight close to your body. That's gonna keep the core engaged. Obviously, we're still feeling our arms working. We're here. And again, you can hold it either way. Traditional goblet squat here or flipped. Too much, take it down in the center. That works too. You do you. Right here. 10 seconds. Breathe. Drop those hips, I know you're tired, but you can do it. You showed up on a Monday, let's finish it out. Three, two, one. Weight down, this time our close grip press. So we're holding the kettlebell here. We're gonna activate those triceps. If you got your dumbbells, you can just bring your elbows in just a bit, but let's get it done. Upper body in three, two, one. Straight up, drop it down. Again, you want that bridge, go for it. Right here, elbows up, drop it down. So really notice the difference again, just holding the weight in the center versus two weights coming from either side. Push into that kettlebell and you're gonna feel a little more work in the chest and shoulders. Tuck those elbows in by your side, you're gonna feel triceps back of the arms in three, in two, 
in one yes team set it to the side big stretch let's get those scissors one last time in three two one here we go open it up again flex that foot pulling the inner thighs together wrapping the core tuck that pelvis and then get that big stretch. Maybe that's over your head. Maybe that's to the side. What do you need in this moment? Yes. Boom. We got five, four, three, two, one. Hug those knees in. All right, team. You know what? I think we need one more swing to finish it out. Why not? up onto your feet. You can also just do the deadlift and it is your choice. Do you want the kettlebell? Do you want the dumbbell or two dumbbells, whatever you got? Do you want to go a little heavier? That's what I'm going to do. Let's see. Am I going the right way? Ah, yes. All right. Last swing. Go for it. This is it team. Then we are stretching hinge it here, power it up either way or come up out of the hinge. If you're doing the deadlift in three, in two, Last thing, here we go. 30 seconds. Core engaged, shoulders back. Power it up, lock it out of the top with everything all through the back of your body. Push into those feet. Squeeze in the armpits. I know it sounds weird. Not lifting with the arms, but nice and tight. Keep it moving, we got five. Four, three, two, and one. Ha! Drop it here. Pedal your feet. Hands can be on top of the kettlebell or on the floor or on the top of your legs, whatever you need to relax in the back. And pedal your feet to stretch out through those hamstrings. Woo! Yes, you did it. Ha! Relax in your back. Slowly come up to about halfway. Open up those knees. Stretch your back. Yes, team. I hope you are feeling good. Remember, that is what we are about here at Bowflex. Truthfully, that's what we've always been about. But some of you may remember old infomercials or the old brand of getting ripped and cut. And that's all great if that is your goal. But we are here to move, to be strong, and most of all, to feel good. So I'm so glad that you decided to show up and move with us today. Take those arms up, little stretch to the side. You can even pull on that top arm. So thank you so much for being here. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling. And of course, don't forget to come back for more. I'm here Mondays, Bria is here Tuesday, Thursday. We have such a wide variety of kettlebells, dumbbells, body weight, cardio, mobility, stretch, all of it, kickboxing, <clears throat> getting it done. So many ways for you to show up, to move your body, and to move with us and feel good. If you can, little quad stretch, you can tilt that hip forward or bring it up. We'd love for you to have a hand on the wall so you can also open up that chest and have a little balance, but it's up to you. Next week, we are kicking off a series for Wellness Month. August is Wellness Month. Thank you, Sharon. August is Wellness Month, so each week we'll have a little bit of a different theme for wellness, talking all things wellness. So join us for that. And again, don't forget to subscribe to the Bowflex YouTube channel. Make sure you check out our Instagram, our Facebook, all of our social media. That's where you're going to find out more about this new and improved Bowflex. Ah, get some more stretching on your own. You can find some stretching videos here on the channel. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. I'm so glad you decided to come and move with us today. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great rest of your day.